What's up everyone? Uh, welcome to our first YouTube video. I'm Joe, uh, one of the owners of Subtle Art Soap. Uh, this is a channel that we've had for about two or three months now, but I've just been dragging my feet on making videos. So we just hit a thousand followers on Instagram. So I figured, you know, it's probably a good time to step things up and start making some videos. I had tried doing uh, videos where I was just talking about our products, but that, um, that did not go well at all. Uh, so I figured, you know, as, since we sell shaving supplies, why not make a shaving video? You can showcase some of the products that we sell, talk a little bit about who we are, and uh, whatever else pops into my mind. Um, so today we're going to try a shaving video. For today's shave, we're going to be using our Bay Rum Shave Soap. A Merker 38C razor. I loaded it with an Astra SP blade. And we're going to be using the Brooklyn Grooming Rosewood Handle Synthetic Shave Brush. Plus I figure, you know, this whole thing got started for us because of shaving. Because I switched how I shave. So why not do some shave videos? I really like the smell of our Bay Rum Shave Soap. Our Bay Rum Shave Soap, it's not as uh, spicy as some of the other Bay Rums out there. It's slightly on the sweeter side. It doesn't have a lot of clove fragrance in it. So that's actually really something that I prefer. So yeah, who are we? What do we do? Well, we are Subtle Art Soap Company. We make bath soaps, shave soaps. We also make sugar scrubs, something that my wife added, uh, my wife Sadie added not that long ago. They are really nice. They came out really good. Uh, we're a husband and wife company. My wife Sadie and I are the owners. We're a veteran-owned company. I'm a U.S. Get some more water in here. I'm a U.S. Coast Guard veteran. I was stationed at Coast Guard Station Chatham on Cape Cod. What's up, John? Cape Cod wet shaving. Uh, if you guys have ever seen the movie The Finest Hours with Chris Pine, that is a movie about one of the most famous rescues in Coast Guard history. It, took place at Coast Guard Station Chatham. And uh, I'm very proud to say that I was stationed there. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. That's looking really good. That's a nice lather. That is a nice tight lather. Now, I'm not just going to show you the stuff that we sell. Um, obviously, I'm going to try and incorporate it as much as I can. But I also have a pretty decent collection of razors and brushes and other soaps that I've used over the years. And, you know, I'll kind of work those in too. Um, but for the most part, it's going to be a majority of the stuff that I show you is going to be what we sell. Uh, we're, the shaving supply side of things is fairly new. So we don't have a big selection we do have a nice selection but it's not big it's growing we're adding new brands new products um, every week uh, so what we have now is mostly Parker and Merker uh, we carry products from fine accoutrements Rockwell razors so we were fortunate enough to get those brands and being a newer company it's kind of hard to get to get products in your store because you know they don't the bigger brands they don't know who you are you know they don't know if it's going to be worth it to put their stuff in your store but we were fortunate enough to get 
Rockwell, Merker, fine accoutrements. All right, that's good. Let me get started here. All right, let me just wet my face and we'll get started. Like I had said, uh, like I mentioned, this whole thing got started because of shaving. Because I changed the way that I had shaved. For years, I used, like a lot of us, right? I used whatever multi-blade madness the big companies were telling me that I needed to use. I think the first razor I ever used was a, a Bic Twin. <laughs> then the three blades came out, so of course I switched to that because I was told that was gonna be the best. And then the four blades come out and I switched to that because that was gonna be the best. And then there's five blades. And then somebody somewhere put six blades in a razor and that's when I thought to myself no that that's just that's just absurd but somebody did it I can't remember who it was I don't know if it was Dorco maybe or maybe they still do I don't know I'm having a conversation one day with a, a good friend of mine about shaving and he says to me you should uh, you should switch to a safety razor and I'm thinking, a safety razor. I mean, that thing that sat in my dad's medicine cabinet for all those years, the thing my grandfather shaved with, there's no way I'm going to shave with that. He says, trust me, do your research, get a good razor, get a good shave soap. It'll be the best shave you ever had. So I'm, I'm thinking, you know, I've struggled with everything else. I might as well give it a shot. So I did my research, and I landed on two razors, Edwin Jagger DE89, which was uh, probably the first razor for a lot of people. Um, and then I ended up on this razor right here, the Merker 38C. I wanted something with a little bit of a longer handle, a little heavier, and it was rated really good um, for beginners. It was a very mild razor, which it is. And I remember the first time that I used it, I could not believe how smooth the shave was. I couldn't believe how close it was, how I had no irritation when I was done. And I remember sending him a text right afterwards. And I said, I'm in. 100% I'm in. I am switching the way I'm shaving. There will be safety razors from this point on. And ever since I've had zero irritation from shaving. No ingrow hairs, no very little razor burn. Razor burn if I get a little too aggressive or if I use a, a very aggressive razor sometimes, but it's minimal. A lot of the issues I had with my face started to clear up when I changed the way I shaved. I just I really couldn't I couldn't believe it how much better it was and ever since then I've been preaching the benefits to everybody that I can because you don't really know 
it's not something that's promoted. And there's not a lot of money in it for the big companies. The money is in the cartridge razors. And I get it. But if you want to do your face a favor, do your skin a favor, making the switch, is the way to go. But it's intimidating, like I said. It was intimidating for me at first. But the first time you do it and you realize, I should have been doing this for 20 years, or 30 in my case. You'd be glad that you made the switch. And it really doesn't take that much more time. I mean, you just saw what I did there. That was my first pass. This is actually, with this razor and this blade, this is actually a first pass like this will work. It'll work for me. For an everyday thing. But I usually do two passes. So that's what we're gonna do today. Well, this soap has been sitting here. What's it been, 10 minutes now? I mean, it's really starting to bloom. I mean, look at this. This is our triple butter formula. Absolutely love this soap. We have two formulas. We have an original formula, um, which is really good. That got some great reviews. I had sent that to a bunch of people and they had made some videos. Uh, John, the Cape Cod Wet Shaving, um, definitely want to check out his videos. He makes some very cool videos. Uh, Brandon Hay, uh, Brandon Shaves, check out his videos. His videos are great. He really, I had sent him a sample of this Bay Rum soap and he really put it to the test as far as uh, multiple passes and how comfortable it was and, and how much water it could take. And he tried to drown it and it held up. That's some good stuff. Uh, I sent it to, to uh, Nate at BBS Live and he did a video. Um, got some great feedback from him. Uh, Mel at Melly Mel Shaves, another great video. Got some excellent feedback from them. So it's actually, it's been really, uh, I've gotten some great feedback from these guys. And we've been able to tweak a couple things and make it even better, which is what you want, right? You don't want somebody coming around and just telling you how awesome your stuff is all the time. You need that honest feedback and that's what I got from these guys and it was very, very helpful, very beneficial. Plus my friend, Chris, who convinced me to switch to wet shaving, thank you by the way, he was my very first customer. I still got the dollar that he put, that he gave me and he wrote on it, good luck, I still got that. I keep that forever. It's a good sign, it's a good omen. We've been doing pretty well ever since. I had mentioned my personal collection of razors. I have quite a few razors from a lot of different brands. Uh, one of the most recent ones I just purchased was from uh, Yates Precision. I purchased their 921 and the Rainbow PVD. Great razor. That is a really nice razor. Uh, I'm definitely going to break that out here someday. Um, Owlsworth razors. I ordered, I don't know if anybody saw the uh, Dracant 
pass around. I don't know how many of you were involved with that, but he did a he created a new razor, and um, again he's somebody that's on like a similar journey to mine. He's fell in love with wet shaving, but instead of the soap side of things, he went on the the razor side of things, and I, he made a really really sick looking razor. Um, I did order it. Can't wait for that to come in. When it does come in, I'm going to do a video with it because I think it's going to be fantastic. And check out his stuff, uh, Owlsworth Shaves. He's got some great videos. He's got a podcast, too. Um, he's already he's had two episodes, and he's talked to... I think the first episode was the owner of Lothar Soaps, and I think that was the first episode. That was a great episode. He's got a really cool podcast that you should definitely check out. Maker's Corner, I think is what it's called. It's great. Maybe someday when we're a little bit bigger. We can get a little interview going with Jacob. He's a great guy. I've talked to him a couple of times. Or Caleb, sorry, Caleb. Jacob. I was thinking about Yates Precision, I was thinking about Jacob Yates. This is such a smooth razor. This really can't beat an Astro Blade. I mean, you can put an Astro Blade in anything and it's going to be super smooth and comfortable. One of the things I gotta figure out here is the lighting. I have a couple different lights going on trying to get the lighting right because it's not not the best in my bathroom. It's not terrible. We'll figure it out. Like I said, we're new at this. We'll get some good lighting going, maybe. Maybe it'll be fine once I look at the video, you never know. Yeah, so that's it. So you'll notice when I shave, you'll see some little redness over here. That is not from the razor. That is too many years of not enough sunscreen. Yeah. Especially in the Coast Guard. All that time I'm on the boat, my neck would get fried, fried, fried. But sunscreen wasn't something they issued us, so it's not something we used. Isn't that right, John? Alrighty, yeah, that's good for today. That's good. Alright, I'm just going to rinse off real quick. And that's it. I don't know uh, for post shave. For post shave, I usually go with little Thares. And then I'm not quite sure. I haven't decided on what aftershave I want yet, but I'll pick something. It'll probably be a Bay Rum. I'm a Bay Rum, big Bay Rum fan. I have a lot of different Bay Rum colognes, aftershaves, shave soaps. I know it's not the uh, the most popular. Thing to be wearing but it's what I like so that's why I wear it so yeah that's uh 
I think this is what we're going to do. I think we're going to try doing uh, more shave videos, talking about more of our products and uh, some of the products I own personally, some other things that I'm interested in. And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. And uh, make sure to uh, like and subscribe. And also check out those other videos from those guys that I was uh, telling you about. Um, great videos, get some great information. Um, great guys too. Uh, so yeah, give them a, give them a shot and uh, we'll see you next time.